How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Four car manufacturers are returning to Forza Horizon 5 in the next update, Series 24. Alfa Romeo, Fiat, Lancia and Abarth, they are all returning in the next update. Now this is fantastic news. We all like to see returning things to the game, whether that's a car, a manufacturer or a brand like Rocket Bunny. I want to quickly talk about this today, about how manufacturers, brands and cars go missing from Horizon games but then later return, as not all of this is on purpose. We all give Playground games a bit too much stick for removing cars and recycling them by just re-adding them. Same with manufacturers, like that's come, coming back now. It's a lot more complicated with that, with licensing and stuff like that, which we're going to touch on. And we're also going to touch on what potential cars will be coming in Series 24 as well, as we've got all sorts of Alfa Romeos and Lancias to look forward to, etc, etc. Now, we all know that it's not news that cars and manufacturers and brands go missing between Forza titles. For example, Forza Horizon 3 had Toyota, Mitsubishi, all that jazz. Forza Horizon 4, when that released didn't have Toyota and it didn't have Mitsubishi, which was a big deal back then. Everybody missed the Supra and all the other goodies from Toyota and Mitsubishi. Now, later down the line, Toyota and Mitsubishi returned to Forza Horizon 4 as if nothing happened, which was fantastic to see. Now, my point is I would not blame Playground Games for all of these missing cars and manufacturers that we all love licensing licensing is a huge thing now very briefly what my, what the licensing is for anybody who doesn't know is every car every car manufacturer every brand everything has licensing playground games have to pay and arrange these licenses with the manufacturers themselves to be allowed to have these things in their game now these licenses are game specific, so they might only have a license for a certain car for the next Horizon game, but they might not have it for the motorsport. So that's why we see cars in motorsport that aren't in Horizon, that, that it doesn't make sense to some people. Oh, it's in motorsport, why can't they just add it to Horizon? It's not as simple as that. They might not have the licenses for it. They might try, they might try to get them, but they just might simply not be able to get them. It's all, quite a lot of it is out of Playground Games' hands. I would say there's a chance that some cars and some things that are missing between titles, they might have pulled out for their own, by their own choice that they want to re-add later on. It's certainly possible with some things, but I'd say the majority of the things, it just comes down to licensing. Now, obviously, the whole point of that is that next update, we're getting Alfa Romeo, Abar, Fiat and Lancia all returning to me, it just makes sense that they've got the licenses sorted out and they are finally coming back. If you actually Google what sort of corporation owns Alfa Romeo, Abarth, Fiat and Lancia, it's all the same one. I think it's called Stellantis or something. They own all sorts. They own Peugeot and Dodge and just loads and loads. But it makes sense that all four manufacturers returning are all assigned to that sort of corporation. That corporation's obviously given the green light to get these licenses sorted back in Horizon 5, and here they are. So what I'm trying to say is it's, it's nothing but good, really, that manufacturers and corporations want to stay in these Horizon games because Rocket Bunny was missing at the beginning of Horizon 5, and that came straight back. Um, these four manufacturers are missing, these are coming back. As I said, Toyota and Mitsubishi, Horizon 4, they soon came back. Now, not everything has returned. We're still missing Tesla, we're still missing Rolls-Royce. Will they come in the future? Potentially, I can definitely see why Rolls-Royce don't want their luxury prestige cars in a game that's sort of based around doing whatever you want with the cars. I can imagine Rolls-Royce don't really like that. Tesla, I don't see why Tesla's not in the game because Elon Musk's a bit of a rogue boy. If you're finding this video helpful, guys, please do consider subscribing to the channel. You won't miss any videos like this. If you liked it, do you want to see more? But yeah, it's all great to see. I'm not a licensed expert. I'm not going to sit here and pretend I know everything about everything to do with licenses. And oh, my camera's out of focus. Yeah, I'm not going to sit and pretend I'm an expert, but I can at least tell you guys, don't give Playground Games too much grief when your favourite cars are missing between games because that they want to add the cars. If it was in a previous game, there's no reason why it can't be in a future game. It's already scanned. The only thing that's in the way are the licenses. Now, over on GT Planet, a user called Nuclear Bomb, I think his name was, he's got a spreadsheet that he's kept up to date since the game's release. I think this is 
up to series 22 so it's very very recent all of the cars that are marked in blue are new to Forza all of the cars that are marked in orange have been returned cars that weren't in the game at launch but were added later on that were from previous Horizon games you see what I mean so at the, at the moment it's a total of 75 cars that weren't in the game at release have later been eventually added to the game. They've got to negotiate these. They might have been able to extend the license for these for Forza Horizon 5 and they might disappear again for Forza Horizon 6. I'm sure you get where I'm trying to go now. It's certainly not all the blame on, on Playground Games and I would say they do a pretty damn good job at giving us lots of new cars while also returning some of the older cars that we want back. I mean, look at all of them cars that are marked in blue. That's a lot of cars. Now I've had a look back Forza Horizon 4 and had a look what Abarths, Alfa Romeos, Fiats and Lancias were in the game back then to see what cars might be coming in the next update because, you know, they're returning obviously. Abarth, we have the 124 Spider, the 695 Biposto, the Fiat 131 and the 595 Assess, I don't know, I don't know how to say that, Assess. Alfa Romeo, we have the Giulia Quadrif... Quad... Quadrifoglio, we've got the Alfa Romeo 4C, the 8C Competizione, the 33 Stradale, which was the fastest car in Forza Motorsport 5. We've got the Giulia Sprint GTA Stradale, the Giulia TZ2, the P3. We've got the Fiat 124 Sport Spider. We've got the Lancia Delta HF Integrale EVO, or EVO. Lancia Delta S4, Lancia 037 Stradale, Lancia Stratos HF Stradale, Lancia Fulvia Coupe Rally 1.6 HF. Those are all 17 Alphas, Lancias, etc. that were in Horizon 4 that obviously have great potential of being in Horizon 5 next month. It's obviously possible that not all cars will return because individual licenses are a thing, like I said. Some of them might have exclusive licenses for Forza Motorsport, so they're not allowed in Horizon. It's all possible, but those are all of the candidates for what's coming in Series 24 if we're only getting the returning manufacturers. So that's great to see. I can't wait till Series 24. I'm definitely... Alfa Romeos are probably the ones that I'm most interested in. I'm definitely going to be jumping into some of them. And it also opens the gateways for any new Alfa Romeos, any new Lancias, Fiat's, any new cars to finally come to the game that they've just not been able to do because the manufacturer isn't even in the game full stop. Sort of rambled on a little bit in this video but I wanted to talk a little bit more in detail about them re returning manufacturers and a little bit how it works as well. Leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone, let me know in the comment section below what you're looking forward to the most and I'll see you all later when we know more about Series 24.